Hey guys, I'll be showing you today how to install the reverse osmosis step by step. And um, uh, recently I bought this system from Home Master because my water quality was on a harder side. So, yeah, I know it's just I thought it's time for me to get something. And here's the few reason I bought this system. Um, first of all, uh, it's made in USA, so it, it's pretty you know well built. Uh, five years warranty, great customer support, and they have a permit pump with one to one ratio off of waste. So, you know, these are the few reasons also that I consider when I'm buying this. Um, so, let's start with the installation. And in here, I'm just showing you a small test uh, of a water quality after installation. Uh, and um, I'm gonna do a whole video of this but uh, with comparing all other waters comparing with my water with the tap water and everything even bottle water I'm gonna do that video soon but this is just for me to show you that the reading came out to be you know 11 10 and I think my water tap water is around 140 somewhere so and so here's the, all the stuff that came in the packaging and it's it's pretty nice the way everything is packaged. Uh, um, this is all the parts um, that came with it. I'm gonna, I don't think we need the instruction because I'm gonna walk you through everything. Uh, it's not that bad. So let's start from here. Uh, the first thing we have to install is uh, faucet and uh, this is the order it goes in I'm just showing you um, alright so I'm gonna remove my soap dispenser and I'm lucky that I have already hole so I don't have to make a hole there here's the, I'm showing you the order of washer that you have to put in and once you do that uh, you have to go under the kitchen under the sink and then uh, make sure you keep some pillows because it really hurts um, once you you know do this put the first uh, locating washer then you have to put the lock washer now once you do that you have to put this uh, lock nut and make sure you put the flat side up and uh, yeah we're done with this part now we just have to get the teflon tape and put it right on the threads before you put the uh, 3 8 inch uh, faucet adapter next is the teflon tape um, uh, just make sure you put like uh, four or five turns that should be enough uh, don't go crazy because then the, the adapter won't fit uh, so it just I had to remove a little bit because I went a little bit over on the teflon tape um, yep and uh, you just put the adapter in should be straightforward here all right next is uh, find a cold water line and we will be installing a easy adapter uh, like that and make sure you put the teflon tape here wherever is necessary I uh, just want to remind you all right so when you receive a reserve tank uh, you have to put the teflon tape first and then uh, use the tank shut up valve uh, do not forget that and make sure you do not press any um, do not press the blue button that is uh, um, somewhere down there all right next is uh, installing permit pump and uh, water housing uh, make sure you measure it before you install this uh, how it's gonna pan out uh, here I'm just marking both using the paper they provided um, and installing the water housing so it's pretty straightforward um, make sure you level it once you finish installing both the um, clips I just want to make sure they're straight so that's pretty much it once you install this we I will be installing the permit pump
make sure the arrow is facing up uh, for the pump. All right, so um, I had to remove all the filters in order to install the blue housing in the white um, clips. So sometimes you get lucky and you can install in one shot. Uh, make sure you install the top top part first and then the bottom, push the bottom part in. Uh, it took me a while, I had to take all the filters out and then I was able to do it, just for your information. All right, you can install the given drain saddle clamp. For my case, I cannot because I don't have a room to install the, the saddle clamp. So what I had to do is buy a extra part uh, from uh, Amazon. Uh, you, can, you can get it from their website too if you want, but I'll put the link anyway in the description if you wanna buy. Um, uh, so which is easier, you don't have to make a hole uh, in the piping. So here's the part that I'm going to install. Uh, all, I, all we have to do is remove the dishwasher line and uh, put this part in and connect our dishwasher line and uh, tubing. Right, connect the orange line to the uh, easy adapter first the blue line goes to the faucet black line goes to the reserve tank and make sure the tank valve is tank valve is in an off position all right so make sure the tank valve is the off position like that and we will turn on the easy adapter line. So once we do that, we're going to turn on the, this is gonna fill up the system. Now turn on your faucet. All right, once you turn on, take two minutes to 20 minutes, uh, for water to come out it's gonna be a tickle of water uh, maybe some black uh, blackening inside the water you'll see uh, I didn't see any of that uh, this it's carbon uh, being flushed out uh, but I did not see any any of that so just let it run and once you see it's clear water uh, you can close the faucet and then check for any leaks and see if you have any leaks uh, Alright, so once you close the faucet, uh, I went and checked for leaks and I found a leak for my RO memory, a blue one. It was leaking from the top, so I had to replace it. I had to contact the company and they were kind enough to send me the membrane and ship the membrane right away. So the company is very good uh, and you know they'll help you make sure you install properly. So if you have any question, make sure you reach out to them. and. Don't be afraid. Uh, it took me another one week to do this, but uh, at least they they were behind their product. So make sure you check for leaks and fix all that problem. Once you confirm that there are no leaks, uh, you can open the tank shutoff valve slowly and let the water you know fill in inside the tank. Uh, it takes about two hours. So you wait two hours till it fills. And I'm just gonna wait two hours. I'm just gonna skip the video and I'll show you what needs to be done. So let's say after two hours, you come back. Uh, you close the easy adapter valve first. Now tank is filled. So you close the easy adapter valve. And um, And you go back to your faucet, open the faucet, so the all the water that is inside the tank will empty out. 
now repeat this process two more times so once the water is empty out you open the easy adapter valve let the water come through and then empty out again and there you go I'm opening easy adapter valve to let the tank fill in and then I'm gonna wait another two hours and then empty it out all right thank you so much for watching the video and um, hopefully you found this video useful um, I'm gonna put the future videos uh, related to reverse osmosis uh, soon so stay tuned thank you so much